All right, I thought I'd do a quick video on some of the quick commands or the uh, some commands that are very helpful when looking at extreme switches. Um, some of these I did not know until probably about a year ago, which I thought were kind of fun and interesting. Um, so hopefully these help you out. Uh, so I will also link these in the description as well, uh, just so you have a reference of them. Uh, the very first command that I'm going to show you is one that I just learned about here recently, and that is the show management command. Management. Show management. There we go. So I didn't know this command uh, was out there, but this is a very quick and easy way to see if uh, there's certain things that are enabled or disabled, um, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, so if you're doing any like uh, scripting for um, Python scripts, uh, you might have to turn off paging. Uh, so you can see that that's enabled right here. Um, you can see the max logout times, um, the idle timeout. Uh, the, you'll log out from your switch in 20 minutes. Um, just some really good quick information. So you can see if Telnet is enabled, uh, SSH, if it's enabled. So here's a, a, a good command that'll tell you some uh, very quick information uh, that you that you might want to know. Uh, you, there's also the show version command. That's pretty much a standard thing. Uh, this is what I'll show you. The switch, uh, the PDUs, um, uh, just some very simple uh, information about that. Uh, the other one is also similar to what Cisco is. It'll be like show your switch. Uh, that'll give you your firmware version. Uh, if you're running on the primary, <clears throat> how long the switch has been up, you know, all that basic kind of information. Uh, there's also the show config, which is kind of the same as like what Cisco's show run command is. Uh, that'll just give you all of the switch config on a switch. You can also do a show config if you're looking for a specific module. Uh, let's just say net tools. That'll give you, you know, your, some of your DNS information. Uh, you can also do a question mark. Um, everything here in quotation marks are like its own little module. So if you want to look up a specific thing, uh, you can do that. So here, there's one that says, you know, VLAN or, or your routing interfaces. Uh, so let's just do VLAN. You know, that'll just give us all of the information that's in that VLAN module. Uh, extreme switches are based in a uh, modular approach. So you could, instead of rebooting the whole entire switch to, you know, take down a process, if you had to reboot uh, the OSPF module, you could just reboot that one module. You don't have to reboot the whole entire switch, uh, which is really handy to keep the switch up and going. Um, show port. You know, it's very, very basic. One thing you will keep in mind here is this little flashing green thing that keeps flashing through the screen. That's a live view. Um, so the switch is updating all of the ports every time it, it goes through that. So as you can see now, like a ports, all three of these ports are up on one, two, and six. Uh, I'm just gonna come over to uh, GNS3 here and show you this quick. If we were to say, kill this port, just delete it. That was port two. You can see it, it got deleted here. Um, so that's a that's a live view of this. If you don't want to see that, if you only want to see it in a, in a static view, you would just say uh, no refresh. And that would just give you uh, what the ports are at that time. Um, you can also do show VLAN. That'll give you all of your VLANs that you have on the switch. If you want to see that individual um, VLAN, you can do show VLAN 101, and then it'll just give you all that information. You know, that's a pretty standard thing. Uh, the last thing uh, would be, say, like a show IP route. You know, in Cisco, it would be show IP space route. Um, in Extreme, they just combine those two. Just say show IP route. And you will get the same thing. There's your static route, there's your direct route, or your uh, local um, routes that are directly cut, tied to this switch. Um, then you can, you know, dive into that a little bit more if you want to see more information. If it's a VLAN or OSPF or whatever uh, routing table that you're using. So hopefully that helps. If you like this video, give it a like, give it a subscribe. Thank you.